Why is there so much depression in this world? Do you know this depression, every person, young, old, everybody, I'm so depressed. Why? Because the reason is that we have left the deen, we have left Allah's remembrance, the dhikr. We always hear this verse, Allah bi dhikri Allahi tatma innul qulub. Remember through the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hearts find contentment. So when a person is continuously committing sins, then he's not going to get any kind of contentment. Shah Waliullah Muhaddith Dehli wa Rahmatullah, a great scholar. And listen to this, my brother, my sister. He writes in Hujjatullah al Baligha that, I'lam anna al fitna ala aqsan. He says, No that there are different types of fitna. Minha fitna tur rajul fi nafsihi. Bi ay yaksu wa kalbu, fala yajidu laddat al ta'ati wa la laddat al munajat. He said, No that there are different types of fitna, different types of trials and challenges. One of the fitna is fitna tur rajul fi nafsi, within himself. We are the living statistics. Bi ay yaksu wa kalbu, the heart has become so hard. Our hearts have become so hard, فَلَا يَجِدُ لَذَّةَ الطَّعْدِ So we don't find no lazzat in the remembrance of Allah, in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَلَا لَذَّةَ الْمُنَاجَاتِ Or in the munajat, or asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, munajat, oh no, we don't have no time for munajat. So that one to one with Allah. We're so busy, If you, the amount of time we spend on our social media, we don't have no time, we don't even have time to read our five time prayers. Leave alone, do the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave alone, have that one to one with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't have that. That's why we are having all these problems. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spelt it out in the Quran. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دُنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى A person who ignores, a person who moves away, from my dhikr, from my remembrance, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دَنْكَ I will give him a hard life. It's very clear. We don't have time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we expect him to give you happiness and joy. No, no. You're not going to get anything. So each and every one of us, we need to look at why we are depressed. A person, subhanallah, insomnia is a, t a medical term for a person who can't go to sleep. So, Nowadays, subhanallah, so many millions of people on a daily basis. I was looking at the statistics, they said million at least who take antidepressant tablets. They are taking you know, sleeping tablets because they can't go to sleep. And why is this happening? Like Imam Shafi rahmatullah, how beautifully he says, Sahirat uyunu wa namat a'yun fi umurin takunu awla takunu. Fadr il hamma anin nafs. He says, some eyes can't go to sleep and some eyes can't get up. Fee umur in regarding matters which might tilt this way, we might go other way. So all the what's happening in the financial markets, what's happening around the world. So people are so worried about the matters of tomorrow. Fee umur in we might be this way, it might be positive, it might be negative. You just had a test, it might be uh, positive, it might be negative, it might be uh, you know, cancer, it might not be cancer. So basically a person day and night, he is worried. And the point here is, worry is complete waste of time. Because it does not change anything. If a per the worry does not change anything, it only takes away the happiness of today. He only takes the happiness of today. Like in the Urdu, the poet says, Neen bhi e ghazab ki cheez hai. Aaj aaye to kuch cheeze bula deti hai. Na aaye to kuch cheeze yaad dilati hai. I hope you understand what. Neen bhi kiya ghazab ki. The sleep is ajeeb. It's so strange thing. If it comes, it makes you forget things. And if it doesn't come, it makes you think. All night you're restless. You're tossing in the bed and you just don't know what to do. So point here is, how do we take that depression away? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the cure, the remedy, the medicine. Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma innal qulub. That dhikr of Allah. What does the word dhikr mean? Remembering Allah. So anything which will be in obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is remembrance. How do we live our life? How much dhikr they are? How much dhikr is in our life? How much remembrance? 